Confectioners, what's up? I'm Mark and this is Epic Confections. If you are new here, click that subscribe button for the most hilarious cake decorating tutorial channel on YouTube. I know, I took a week off. I missed y'all. I'm sorry. I just needed to have some me time. I need to take a week off. I needed a little mental health day. You know what I'm talking about, y'all? Like, I needed to have some time to myself before I went apeshit on the world. I had a lot of shit going on in my personal life, but nothing bad, so don't worry. Everything good. Updates to follow very soon. With work and YouTube and some other stuff going on, I really just needed to take a break and center myself before I started ripping clothes off and hair and fingernails were gonna start scratching faces off and like I was just gonna go ape shit on the world. <sighs> anyway. Calm. Serene. <sighs> this week, with a very special collaboration, a collaboration with one of my really good, beautiful friends, Rosie from Rosie's Dessert Spot. This week's theme, because it's pride, happy pride by the way, is rainbows and unicorns. Let's do it! So to start, I just baked off of four 7-inch round white cakes. As always, we're going to level them out, fill them with buttercream, stack them up. Let's do it. I'm just putting a little bit of buttercream on your board so your cake don't move around when you're decorating. Oh, I wanted to put some sprinkles in between these layers because it's a unicorn cake. Okay, I will. All is not lost. One moment, please. Okay, got my sprinkles. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sprinkles in between the layers. You can also add these sprinkles directly into your cake when you're baking them or into your buttercream. I have a few tutorials on how to do a sprinkled buttercream cake right here. That looks good. So I'm just placing that on the board in the center. So I'm each cake show a little quick get so I'm just fixing those guys. So next I just filled up my cheater bay with plain white buttercream. I have my hot water and my spatula. So I'm just going to give this a coat of white buttercream all the way around the cake. Just starting at the top, smoothing out my buttercream as best as I can. And holding my spatula straight up and down, letting the turntable do the work for me. Just smoothing out the sides of that cake. And at the top of the cake, just bringing in all that excess buttercream right to the center of the cake. And that should leave you with a nice edge. So I am happy with the way this looks. I am going to stick it into the freezer for about 20, 25 minutes. So I just pulled my cake out of the freezer. The buttercream's nice and firmed up. <laughs> Firm. So I literally just printed this unicorn silhouette on a piece of paper. And I'm just going to find the front of my cake and I'm just going to place him where I think he's going to look the best. Just make sure all the paper is down securely on the buttercream. That's perfect. Yay. Next I have some rainbow sprinkles here. I love these. They're so cute. Just going to pour them into my bowl. Just holding my cake over the board so that when I do press up all those sprinkles against the cake, the excess will fall back, hopefully, into the bowl. Once you're finished with your sprinkles and you're happy with how they covered your silhouette, I'm going to stick this back into the freezer for about another 20 minutes, and then we're going to pull off that silhouette and we're going to paint it gold. Gold! 
So I just pulled my cake out of the freezer. Next, I'm going to gingerly remove the unicorn silhouette with a sharp knife. Just gonna slowly start pulling it up with my knife. You are gonna lose some balls during this process. No need to worry. Yes. Uh, there's your unicorn silhouette. So next I'm just mixing a little bit of gold dust with some vodka. When I make my gold paint, I do like it thick, I don't like it runny, I just find if it's thicker, it applies a lot better. So just keep that in mind, just add a little bit of vodka at a time, you can always add more if you're not happy with it. And now I'm just going to start painting him. So I'm really happy with that unicorn, that gold painted unicorn, I think it looks great. I know there's some shine because of the lights on it, but in person it really does look great. It looks very, looks so majestic and gay, I love it. <laughs> Next I printed out a rainbow on sugar paper, and I'm just going to cut it out. You can do this rainbow in fondant or gum paste, whatever you like. As you guys know, I really do enjoy using sugar paper. You can just do so much with it. A, it makes the job easier, but you can really do so much. I don't know, I just really love it because you can really customize your cakes with any kind of edible image that you print. So there it is, we're gonna stick him on top. So we're gonna find out exactly where we want this to be. I'm just sticking some dowels in the cake and I am gonna place that rainbow. It was a little plain, so you know what? I decided to paint the entire top gold. So now I'm just sticking that rainbow on again. Next I have some of that plain white buttercream in a regular size piping bag. And I'm just gonna pipe on a few clouds. So here it is guys, here is the rainbows and unicorn cake. Thank you so much for thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Thank you so much to Mariposa Market for sponsoring this video and thank you to my friend Rosie from Rosie's Dessert Spot. Make sure to go check out her incredibly fabulous unicorn and rainbow cake. I will link her video in the description below, but here it is right here. So here's a little sneak peek. So if you all want to go see that cake, go over to her channel and show her some love. Happy Pride, y'all. I love y'all so much, and I will see you all next week. Mwah!